Welcome Aquarius, we're going to be looking at uh, what guidance you need in love right now. Um, this could be any relationship in your life. Um, so just apply it as you see fit. And what's the other thing I want to say? Oh yeah, also check out your moon, your um, rising and your Venus signs. Okay. Got one, two, and there we go. Three. Let me just pick this up, Aquarius. Okay, so the first card we have here is forgiveness. Okay, so stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay, the next card here is emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Interesting. Okay, Aquarius, the last card here is the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Ooh, okay. Juicy. So let's have a look. Okay, so forgiveness. Tell me more about this for Aquarius, please. Okay, so first card here we have is Dove. Take a leap of faith. Yep. And this is it, right? There's, there's a new a new um, beginning for you, new opportunities available for you in love, okay, in relationships, be it friendships, um, could even be work because, you know, even um, work relationships are relationships that we have, okay, and so, you know, this could be the beginning of, you could be in a relationship, but it could be about reigniting the passion within that relationship, right? Um, we have a slumber here, and it seems as though to me that there's been this period of rest, okay, that has been needed. It's kind of like this nurturing that you have needed. And, and for some of you, it may feel like that would be really nice if someone would just come up and nurture and love you the way you would like to be loved, right? Wrap you up and keep you warm and safe, yeah? Um, if that's a need of yours in a relationship of any kind, it's really important to express that, okay? And it's not really for anyone else to come and rescue you per se, um, but sometimes we need a good hug. Sometimes we need to be understood and heard and, and seen, right? And there's nothing wrong with requesting that, even if it might seem a little bit silly or potentially even a bit selfish. It's not selfish. We all need love. We need that acknowledgement, Right? Okay, and then we have flight, which I absolutely love because it is time to fly. And I see in this dove picture here that this dove is also flying above the world, right? This is about you being released, releasing this forgiveness, which releases yourself, right? The fact of the matter is that by forgiving someone does not contone their actions and what they have done. Sometimes it's actually a matter of forgiving ourselves. But what I want to say about that, what I have found the most easiest as far as forgiveness goes, is actually accepting. Accepting that there's nothing I can do about the situation and that holding on to it is not going to serve me anymore. And I find that a lot easier than, say, forgiving someone and saying, oh, I love you now. And it's like, sometimes I just, you know, that's not that easy, um, depending on how badly you've been hurt, right? So, yeah. Um, anyway, we have dreams. Believe in your dreams, yeah. Um, and you know what? I feel like here, Aquarius, it's important for you to revisit any dreams that you have had that haven't been fulfilled and really look at those and go, hey, could I actually do something with this now? Is this my opportunity to be able to look at fulfilling those dreams, right? So, yeah, let's have a look what we have here. Root. Oh, I love this. And we have Cosmic Child. Yes. Oh, I love. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. The fact of the matter, Aquarius, is that there's been some really hard times that you've had to go through in order to grow into who you are, okay? And you've been able to do that because you are a child of the cosmos. Um, you are special. Boy, oh boy, are you special, okay? And, um, and I really feel like, I just want to write that down, um, because... In order for you to grow, how you have grown is 
there has been a lot that you have had to endure and I'm not sure there's many people in the world who would have been able to actually go through all that and get to where you are now and sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that and sometimes we don't realize how strong we are and I'm just here to remind you right now that you are beyond incredible so give yourself a pat on the back and give yourself a big cuddle right um, see yourself the way you want others to see you okay give yourself that acknowledgement because you sure as heck deserve it okay next we have emotions okay emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment and this is part of this forgiveness right let go of resentment okay so we have unicorn invite serendipity yeah let these things happen in your life invite it and be open be ask show me show me these synchronicities show me the signs you know allow th things to align up for me i'm ready to receive this now okay because you sure do deserve it okay so tell me more about unicorn for aquarius please nice yeah, there's lots of little treasures available to you. And um, I think it's a matter of you keeping an eye out for them. Okay, and taking your time. Taking your time to stop and look around. Okay, because sometimes we can move far too quickly through life and we miss these things. We don't always see what is there available for us. Okay, um, or we can think we don't deserve it necessarily. Oh, that would never happen to me. That only ever happens to, you know, such and such. No, it is there for you. Just be open to it, okay? And because sometimes these things are really subtle, you know. Um, yeah, so ask to be shown, and I can tell you this now, Aquarius, I often ask, show me real clear, because sometimes I can be a bit dense and I don't always see what it is that needs to be, you know, seen. Um, so, yeah, so sometimes I have to be whacked, well, not literally whacked over the head, but it needs to, you know, like be pretty out there um, for me to get it uh anyway okay so the next card we have here is moving forward get ready for positive change oh i love this this is perfect and this is exactly where you are headed in uh, the direction you're headed in okay so let's just have a look here moving forward tell me more about this for aquarius please moving forward how exciting okay one has gone on the floor let me have a look okay Here's the thing, Aquarius, moving forward, right? Get ready for a positive change. You need to reach out, okay? You need to start reaching for the light here, right? Just like flight, you need to take flight, okay? You can't wait for flight to come and take you. You need to take flight, okay? You need to reach out for the light, all right? Because I tell you what, this change is going to happen quickly. You've been sort of in this bit of a slumber here, yeah and um and now it's time to move and when you step out boy oh boy are you gonna move and um and and that's pretty exciting because i feel like there's some of you who have been waiting quite a while for this but the fact of the matter is it's needed to um come at a time that is right for you because sometimes there's little changes that we need to make or there's just little adjustments and little tweaks that we might not even realize we we're actually making at the time, but they're being made all the same. And then when something happens, we go, oh, yeah, I see why that happened now and not, you know, a week ago or a month ago or a year ago. I needed to wait till now because of X, Y, Z had to be in place for this to actually happen because it, it couldn't have happened prior to this because all these other things weren't in alignment right so in that regard i think this is really cool so this last card here the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a path is now available to you follow it with faith yay that's exciting aquarius very exciting okay tell me more whoa whoa okay okay so this first card here is money Okay, so you could be coming into some abundance. Find a way to abundance. Love it. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, so let's have a look. 
Oops, I can't go that that went off the table let me just go grab that okay look at this we've got this maze here right labyrinth this is about you finding your way to the abundance but abundance here is in the middle so it's up to you to find the path to get there right and everything you learn all along the way is going to add to that abundance that you receive at the end, okay? Um, so it might seem like a bit of a maze, but boy, oh boy, is it worth it. It is totally worth it. We have a reverie here. Um, so hold on to your dreams, right? Like at the beginning here, right? Hold on to your dreams and don't stop believing. Even when you come up against those walls and that maze that you have to turn around and backtrack a little bit, keep going because it is there for you yes you need to work for it yes you need to take inspired action that's what it's all about okay it's not going to land in your lap necessarily um but yeah i think it's definitely worth it and you're worth it also okay last card here is cheer up <laughs> live in the moment Oh, I love this. Yeah. See, some of you are allowing your emotions to absolutely overtake you. And while I know, you know, and I agree that emotions need to be felt to be released, I also um, feel like it's important for you to not get caught up in them, right? To not allow them to um, keep you from going forward. Don't get caught up in the web, okay? Um, because sometimes it can be a little bit like we can get um look let me put it this way I remember years ago when I was really young and I had a baby and I was a single mum and I I actually felt like at the time I needed someone to come in and take care of me right I, it was sort of like this underlying feeling of not really bringing it to the surface but at the back of my mind, it was just like, man, this is, why can't I have someone come in and take care of me, you know? And it turned out that during the week, I was fine, health-wise. I was fine. Every weekend, I got sick, okay? And um, my my mum would have to come and take my baby and look after him because I was too sick to get out of bed and look after him. And then she had to go to work during the week. And I was fine during the week. And this went on for about eight weeks. And then on the eighth weekend, I was like, why is it that only on the weekends I am sick? And I realized that this is what I was actually doing. So I had to change that. I had to change that thought pattern to know that I am now a mum. Even though I was young, I'm now a mum. I have to step up and be this for my baby, you know? Um, to be this person for my boy so that you know he's been taken care of and um, yeah you know so in that regard just just be aware of that for yourself that just yeah some of you might have needed to have he heard that anyhow um, yeah see look at this desolate right it, there's there's actually no growth in that there's no not going to be any growth by staying caught up in the same old patterns all the time um, if you've been doing the same thing and you haven't gotten anywhere with it, do something differently because um, that's not working. It's not working for you. If there's no progress being made, then you need to change it up and you need to do something different to reach your dreams, to get through this maze because at the end of the day, um, there is this path available to you and it's up to you to, to keep the faith so that you can follow that path, okay? Even in those times where it seems like it's unreachable, just keep going. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.